Hi there, it's Christine Kane, and in addition to being the creator of several coaching programs and a songwriter, I am the world's leading authority on smoothies and the making thereof. And this video was a request by several of my Facebook friends who got sick of me posting about my amazing smoothies. So welcome to a special presentation for Christine, Julie, and Susanna. This is called How to Make the Best Smoothie on the Planet. So let's start with the basics. First off, when I talk about ingredients, I'm talking about organic. Yes, it's more expensive, but so are the health care bills you'll get if you spend years ingesting pesticides. So choose to invest in your body now instead of later and go organic. You'll need a blender, because as far as I know, no one has ever effectively made a smoothie without one. And by far, hands down, no contest, the best blender on the planet is the Vitamix. Yes, it's much more expensive than most blenders, but if you read just a few of the articles in my blog, you'll know I am all about paying for quality and not skimping out and playing small in any area of your life, and yes, that includes the kitchen. That being said, I'll add this. Having a Vitamix is the closest thing to having a chipper shredder right there on your kitchen counter. But for now, any blender will work. It just might take some extra processing time with cheaper blenders. Just want you to know that. Another thing I suggest is a large drinking cup, like the size of a venti iced cappuccino at Starbucks. This is the size our smoothie is going to turn out to be, so you might as well have a cup that's worthy of your creation, you know? So what makes a smoothie great? Well, three things, actually. One is taste, because it's got to taste great. Two is thickness, because a smoothie has to be thick. Otherwise, it's not really a smoothie, is it? It's a runny. And three, texture. Because let's face it, you don't want to add so many powders that your smoothie becomes a gritty or a chunky. So get ready, because I'm going to show you how to make a good, old-fashioned, great-tasting, good-for-you thick smoothie. Now think of your smoothie as having four levels of ingredients. We'll start with the foundation.